It's always so strange. I literally log into the world to record and it it's like raining every time you saw that. You saw it. It was raining. I don't understand why is that why is that the case? Our world just seems to have an abundance of rain, which I suppose is fine because today is going to be a big day and I'm looking forward to it. So, oh, what's this? This is new. Greatly increases, what's it called? Draconic Elixir. Greatly increases a wing flight time and speed, increases defense by 16. God Slayer Revival heals you. Oh, right, right. Did we already read that one? Why don't I remember that at all? The last part I remember, but the, yeah, weird. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, I guess I do remember that. Five minute duration, maybe. Slay, uh, Silva Invincibility heals you to half health. Five minute duration. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so we need to get Potion of Omniscience. Um, actually, I guess I don't need that because I'm able to see everything with what I've got. But yeah, we need to go down and do some mining because, uh, yeah, today's a big day. We're going to work on, well, actually, I'm not going to say we're going to work on Supreme Calamitous. I think I'm, what I'm going to do is save that for the next episode, which I would normally, under most circumstances, do tomorrow. And the reason why I, I'm not going to in this case is because the Diablo 2, ooh, there's a bunch of this new ore over here. The Diablo 2 resurrected technical alpha uh, is going into its, well, technical alpha. Um, I can't, I can't get that. Why not? Because I have a nebula pickaxe and I think I need something different. But what do I need for it? All right, let's go back and I guess we'll, we'll find out that. Anyway, so yeah, the technical alpha starts tomorrow. Well, I, actually, I should say the early access for the technical alpha starts tomorrow. And I have access. So I will be uh, doing that. That is one of the benefits of, I guess, doing videos and running Diablo fans. <laughs> so I, I'm going to be playing Diablo 2 tomorrow. I'm going to be streaming it. And I'm going to be really excited about that. Then after I do a video or two of that this week, um, we'll be putting up the final episode probably because like look at this like Supreme Calamitous is the final boss I think what I want to do is go kill the old Duke Maybe we'll do that in this episode, but we're probably gonna have to kill Yaron again, too. So uh, Pickaxe right 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 right. Let's look at Pit not prick. Oh my goodness pick <laughs> what happened with my brain there. Oof, that's weird uh, Blossom pickaxe can I make this? Oh, I need freaking uh, bloom. Maybe that. Maybe this will be enough. Oh, I've got a bunch of this stuff. Um, pickaxe. Uh, blossom pickaxe. Genesis. I'm guessing this is the one that I need because it's 275. Oh, and it says can mine. Well, there you go. That's everything we needed to know. It, it told me right on the pickaxe. Uh, let's dump that in there. And let's go back down. Try this again. Ah, yeah, there we go. That's better. <laughs> cool. Well, this, uh, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need quite a bit of this, but how much is it to make each bar? We have 138 just from doing that. Uh, it is, tw oh, wow. We're going to need a lot of this. All right, that's fine. That's fine. We can, um, we can do that. So, yeah, I'm really, really excited for that technical alpha. Diablo 2 was a game that, uh, I would describe as being a large part of my development. <laughs> it's just one of those weird things that happens where wow, this picks so fast. It's really nice. Where I was, um, man, goodness, when did it come out? 90 something. I was in like middle school when it came out. And, uh, yeah, my dad had picked it up. We, we had played the first game and, uh, my dad had picked up Diablo 2. And I played through it as a necro. Necromancer it was a bunch of fun. Then Lords of Destruction came out like a year later. Uh, I think actually, I think it was a little less than a year later. I don't remember exactly the time frame on those releases. It's been a while. What can I say? And yeah, I, I jumped in, played the assassin, assassin for life. That is, that is my one class that I love so much in Diablo 2. And I really do wish that they would add it to... Diablo 4, but they're adding the rogue, and I think that's a pretty good substitute. Uh, if you don't know, the rogue is from Diablo 1. It's kind of crazy how that happens. It's the very first one. So, yeah, I'm excited for that, but I'm also really excited 
to get this series done. Not necessarily because I feel like I need to get it over with or anything like that. I've honestly just been having so much fun with this series uh, to the point where I was, you know, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, you, you, oh crap, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? I'm like too far down, I think, at this point. I was looking the other day at what possible other mods we could do for uh, for a modded Terraria series. Yeah, I, I think I think this one has been successful enough that I'm considering what, oh my goodness, we fly so fast, what other mods that we could possibly do. And I think that's a fair thing to start considering because like, honestly, we, you know, we have gotten a, a huge surge of new people onto the channel so, and you all seem to like the series. So maybe a new mod might uh, kind of refresh that a little bit. Obviously, I, I still am going to go finish the hardcore thing before I do anything else Terraria uh, once this is done. So that will be that. Although that may finish like on that first episode back, probably likely because I need to kill Plantera in hardcore master mode and that's not easy at all. But I do want to say, like, I've been super, super thankful for the support that you guys have shown this series. Thank you so very much. If you're new to the channel and you came in by watching Terraria, or maybe you're just new in general from for other reasons, uh, be sure to subscribe because we've got a bunch of cool new stuff coming down the pipeline, including Diablo 2 stuff, which is really cool. If you never played Diablo 2, like, seriously... There's a reason why it is considered one of the, the greatest games because it has completely changed an entire genre. Like Diablo came out, made waves, obviously. Diablo 2 comes out and most action RPGs, top down, third person, is uh, I, sorry, isometric. There we go. Got through that word. Uh, action RPGs have all kind of taken after that. They all want to be Diablo 2 because Diablo 2 was one of the best ones. So it's cool to have that back. All right. So uh, what were the name of these bars? I don't even remember. Bars. Bar, bar, bars. Um, I'm not seeing it here, which is a little concerning. <laughs> what was it called? Auric Tesla Bar. Auric Tesla Bar. There it is. Um, What's this? Oh, Ash Morris. Gotcha. So what are we missing? We're, we're missing galactic singularities. We're missing some spirit essence. We're missing core of calamity. Uh, we got plenty of dark sun fragments and, un excuse me, unholy essence. And we need life alloys. I think I'm going to buy the life alloys, but I think, uh, let's go ahead and make core of calamities. So I believe I had a, oh no, we need, um, what are we missing here? I guess Elium is the, the main one that we're missing. Look, these are so easy to make. I'm just going to stack that out. Sunlights, sure. Let's stack that one out. <laughs> like, I'm not going to use all of this, but I may as well make it. I have so much of this crap in my in my stash here. Uh, and yeah, let's go. Let's make like 20 of them. Eh, maybe a little bit more. Let's make like 40 of them. Okay, so we had that. Uh, the bar, though, we needed what else? Galactic Singularities. Last thing I need is the life alloys. I got the uh, singularities made. Um, it was from her, wasn't it? Do, do, do. No, it's oh, crap. It's under the modded one. Uh, let's close that. Let's close this. Let's go shop changer modded. Uh, where are they? There they are. I have, I think I'm going to have enough to do like 20 something of these, um, but we'll see. Auric, Tesla, oh, it makes two at a time. Okay, that's good because we need a lot of these. Ah, oh, crap. Spirit essence, right? Dang it. Forgot about that. Spirit essence. What do I need for this still? Uh, the big thing are endothermic energies and nightmare fuel. All right. Well, I could go far. Well, how much? I don't know how much money we have. Where did this vendor go? I don't remember where she went. She's down here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we have quite a bit. We have 94 plat. So let's just buy a bunch of this and buy a bunch of this. Cool. Drop, uh, drop those in there. 
Go to spirit essences. Bam, we have 15. Uh, it's still not as much as I'm going to need, I don't think. But that puts us at 42 bars. So, weapon wise, that's going to be the first thing we do. I think it's upgrade our weapons. I think I'm missing Augur of the Elements. So, what weapon is this called? This is called uh, Subsuming Vortex. I believe it, it is just, yeah. Because I have the Event Horizon. It's just the Augur of the Elements that I'm missing. So where do we get that? The Augur of the Elements is made. Wait, really? I needed Hextall? Oh, crap. I got to summon a goblin army invasion thing in order to get that. That's the last thing that I need, too. Uh, a couple more singularities so I can buy the stuff for that. Uh, all right. What, what other weapon can we make? I know that we could put potentially, I should say, uh, make one. Vivid Clarity, this is going to be key. I think that this is going to be one of our uh, main weapons I want to make. We're missing a lot of this. We have the Elemental Ray, and we have the Phantasmal uh, Fury. We need a Shadow Bolt Staff, a Helium Flash. Okay, we have the Helium Flash. The Asteroid Staff, the Arc Amaryllis, and the Ultra Liquidator. Goodness. All right. I guess we'll start with the first thing. Arch. Uh, okay, so I can make this. Boom. That's nice. Uh, oh, crap. What was it called again? Vivid. And so we have that. Asteroid staff. We can get this by getting a meteor staff, which I don't think... <laughs> I don't think um, I can make Meteor meaty, staff. What do I need? I had a feeling I was missing some souls and some meteorite bars. Crap. I only have 16 meteorite bars. Do I have a meteorite in the world somewhere? I might. You know what? I might have to go look. Uh, it's possible I can buy them. Let's see here. Let's switch this to vanilla. Okay. Yeah. No. Don't. I, well, let's get my souls of light. Is that what I needed? Or is it souls of sight? Might have been sight. Oh, I think it was light. All right, it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll dump this in. I guess I'm gonna go find a meteor somewhere. Where? We had the one over here. I think I mined that out. Did we not have any other meteors? Maybe there was one over there. Oh goodness. I don't, it's not like I need that much more. Crap, <laughs> and I can't buy it. I can't buy a meteorite. Mm. All right, let's go look. I got 37 uh, ore. We'll see if that's enough. Uh, let's deposit all that and make meteorite bars. I believe that's enough. Okay, so then we got the staff. Okay, so that's that's done. Let's go back to vivid. Uh, okay. Wait, where did the meteorite staff go? Did I not? Oh, right. I, that's not what I needed. I needed asteroid staff. Uh, and I can make that. Okay. Go back to Vivid. I think this is going to be the first weapon that we make because we're just kind of cruising on it. Shadow Bolt staff and the helium. So we have the helium and the Shadow Bolt. We need the Ultra Liquidator. What do we need for that? Uh, oh, goodness. I don't have an Infernal Rift. Can I make one? Infernal Rifts. I need a Sky Fracture. And I need <laughs> Essence of Chaos, which I... Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I, I, I knew it was going to come back and bite me in the butt. Uh, no, sorry. Sky Fracture. Sky Fracture. I need Light Shards and Magic Missiles. Crap. Where can I possibly get a light shard? I need hallowed desert. And I need a magic missile. Can I make a magic missile? Oh no. <laughs> this is this is not great. <laughs> I got so lucky. This one chest that has been in the middle of our <laughs> arena here happened to have our magic missile. Oh, thank God. I only had two golden keys, too. That would have been awful. Whew, that was a shot in the dark, and we got it. Okay, so... 
<laughs> I'm really happy about that. Oh my goodness. Let's deposit all that. Uh, I don't even remember what it was called. It was a hurtful something or other. Oh, the sky fracture. That's what we needed. So we still need light shards. Mm. The other desert we have is off over here and off over here. I don't think we're going to get what we need there. So do I have a clintaminator? I thought I bought one. Clintam, I do. Okay. So let's pull that out. And what was it that spreads the hallowed? Uh, I think, oh crap. I don't even know where our NPC is for this. Maybe at the top. No, that's the rogue. Although, you know what? Do, do, do. I'll go ahead and take that gold. Thank you very much. We should probably get the tax collector. We would have been getting absolute bank this entire time. Why am I totally missing out on this NPC? Okay, I made a little house for her to move into. And we can get blue solution. A bunch of that. We'll go ahead and uh, clear out the rest of this. Change it back to day because I needed it at nighttime in order to get her to move in instantly. Okay, then we can go to the desert and trans transition the desert to being, uh, let's get rid of that on my bar, uh, into being hallowed, which then, sh oh, it's also got a, uh, a thing going on too, a desert s sandstorm thing. What are you, what's, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? And then if we can find mummies, we will be able to uh, potentially get the light shards. This weapon makes this incredibly easy to farm. I love it. Um, still haven't found any light shards though. <laughs> also, I did the whole Zerg potion thing because that makes that way easier in order to actually farm all this crap out. I transitioned the uh, bottom part here into the, uh, what do we call it? The hallowed, the underground uh, desert hallowed and got a light shard like immediately off of one of those, one of these little dreamer guys. So I think I just got to keep an eye out for those. All right, I got my last light shard. So we're gonna pop the uh, Zerg potion off because I don't want a bunch of stuff to spawn when we go back. Uh, but I am gonna utilize the old uh, potion that's gonna make everything come to us. Uh, let's get rid of, man, a lot of this stuff I probably could get rid of, but I'm not gonna take the time to. I'll just delete that. And I'll put this up here. I'm gonna have to go through my weapons because I know like half of these or all of them uh, just not gonna be good anymore. So let's shop modded. Let's grab a ceaseless hunger potion. Pop that over here. Yeah, that's 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 real nice. I like that a lot. <laughs> uh, I, th I think there's probably a bunch of banners and stuff that I don't need, but we look, we have plenty of room still. So there's nothing that's stopping us from just depositing it all into there. Okay, so we did that. I think we have enough things to do. What did we need? The sky fracture? Oh, wait, I'm on the wrong, wrong sub menu. Sky fracture. What am I missing? Three souls of light. Are you kidding me? These souls of light are the worst. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why. I just don't seem to have enough of them. Let's buy a bunch. Okay. Giggity. Let's see. If we do sky fracture right we make that that turned into what was it oh goodness i don't even remember sky fracture turned into the infernal ray um which infernal infernal rift not infernal ray and i need these essence of chaos still i'm telling you Ooh, what the heck is the dance of light Oh, man, there's so many cool stuff. Like, where did the shadow spec bars come from? I don't remember. How do you make those? Oh, goodness. We're not there. We have to defeat Supreme Calamitous before we can get that. Are you kidding me? I don't have a shadow beam staff to make this one other staff that I need. What is it called? The shadow bolt staff. The shadow beam staff only comes from one place, right? Oh, my goodness. It comes from these necromancers. The problem is I haven't been getting any of these nerds to spawn at all. Oh, uh, goodness. How do I want to do this? I, I remember when I was, like, in the dungeon just farming stuff out? Did I sell a bunch of these? I don't remember. I don't remember. It's possible that I did. 
All right. See, here's the problem, right? So this this turns into that staff there, and then we got the vivid clarity. It's literally the last thing that we need to get this awesome weapon. All right. That's fine. That's fine. We're closing this out. We're going dungeon. We're going to grab one of these. Actually, you know what? While I'm at it, let's just go ahead and get rid of a bunch of stuff that we don't currently need anymore. This is probably my, my life for a while here. <laughs> just using this weapon to clear everything up. I mean, it's a cool weapon and it works really well for this, but my goodness, it's going to take a while. Wait, wait, do I see it? I can't see my cursor. Where's my cursor? I got it. I got it. My goodness, I got it. That actually only took like a few seconds from <laughs> from when I said, oh, it's going to take a while. The game was like, is it though? Like, we don't want to waste your time. Ooh, we know your time is precious. You've got better things to be doing, you know, like sleeping. So you could be prepared to stream for two hours. All right, let's go to the crap. What was it even called? Shadow something or other. Shadow bolt staff. Boom. Then we go to vivid. What am I missing? What am I missing? I got the bars. Got the helium. The elemental ray. Okay, got that. Got the asteroid staff. The liquidator. What am I? What was I missing for the uh, for the liquidator? Oh, that's right. That's what I needed this for. So I still need two galactic singularities. Um, crap, I need all of these stupid things. Actually, I should say I didn't need all of those stupid things. I need specifically which one? Uh, Vortex, Nebula, Stardust, Solar Fragments is what we needed. Buy those from her. Man, this, this, uh, this, this vendor from Alchemist NPC is incredible. <laughs> Is that, I, I believe that is the NPC that it is for. Like, literally the best, the best vendor in this game. Okay, uh, Ultra Liquidator, right? Oh, crap, that's right. Singularity. Ah, this is, this is the problem. Sing, singularities. I believe I needed a, quite a few of those for more bars. Ultra Liquidator. Okay, and then Vivid. There we go craft hell yeah Ooh, it's masterful too all right what does this do let's find out oh i there's a, a weird amount of loot over there all right here we go. clear that up five ready that is awesome looking that is like a 10 out of 10 effect oh and it bounces too Oh, that is so cool. All right, that is definitely amazing. We're just gonna swap her out. I think that's gonna be like our main, I mean, depending on the boss, I don't know how the boss is gonna handle that. That's gonna be like our main bread and butter. Um, that is super, super cool. All right, let's open this up and get rid of that. Go over here, go to Auric Bars so we can see what else we were gonna make. Uh, weapons, magic, the sub, Assuming vortex, but we needed the auger of elements, which required a shadow flame doll. That's right. That's right. All right. Well, I guess we'll, I don't even remember who it was that sold it, but I guess we'll summon a goblin. Oh, you know what? It is the goblin that sells it. We'll summon a goblin army invasion thing. Kill the summoners till we get a shadow flame doll. And then we'll make that weapon too. Oh my goodness, we got it on the first try. Hell yeah, we did. That was amazing. Literally the first summoner that popped up. And look how quick that was to, to clear out. That was nice. Literally the, the first summoner. Pops up, boom, drops the Shadow Flame doll. Beautiful. Gotta love it. All right, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna uh, deposit. And we'll put that in there. Uh, it was called the Subsuming something or other. <laughs> I think that's the proper name. Subsuming Vortex. Um, I got the bars. Right, I needed to make the Auger of Elements. Auger. What am I missing? Luminite. Okay, that's fine. We have a vendor that can help us with just this issue. Wait, 
Did the Luminite bars come from? I don't remember. Where, where did the, the Luminite bars come from again? Luminite bar. Luminite bar? How do you make Luminite bars? <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm going crazy? Right, you need Luminite, which comes from the one and only, the the, the king of original Terraria, uh, the Moon Lord. And I'll just go ahead and summon him and then blast him away with this weapon. I just realized that our Tome of Order is up to 7,000 or almost 8,000 DPS. Pretty good. Or d magic damage, rather. Not DPS. That was a different thing entirely. Uh, but man, this weapon is nice, isn't it? That's, I guess that's what happens when you get to this point in the game where you're just like, you know, a, a god <laughs> compared to these old bosses and everything. It's fun. That That is one of the best parts of games like this where you power up and you get to the point where old stuff is trivial and you get to go back and do some of that old stuff if you need to and it feels awesome you're like hell yeah that we just destroyed that that was great um there's our luminite all right so let's go back home that's all the rest of that stuff too i may as well pop up over here while i'm at it and go sell 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 I think I hit a potion. Oh, that's right. I put those on my bar. Okay, now put the luminite in here. This is such a roundabout thing. Put the luminite in, just deposit all that. I could sell it, but who cares? <sighs> it was, I don't remember the name of the weapon, so now I got to go back through the, it was called the auger of elements. Uh, wait, but I needed the bars. Do, 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 luminite. There they are. Oh, I had a bunch of luminite. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, auger. Don't don't make fun of me. Just shush. Sub, 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 whatever. Vortex. Okay. We'll redo this. Oh, and there was the... Not the apex wand. The wand of sparking turned into what? The wand. Yeah. So I need a wand of sparking. So I need, really, I'm missing five wood. I don't have any wood in my, surely I have like a stack of just normal wood. Apparently I must've taken it out and then like trashed it at one point, whatever. So we'll come in here and we'll dump this in. So this was another weapon that uh, I apparently totally didn't get. Um, it's, it does two magic damage, right? That's gonna take five of these soul fragments? Holy crap. I only have five left. All right, I guess we're I guess, I guess we're making the wand. So what the wand does is yeah, the original the, the normal thing on it, the normal projectile does two damage. What doesn't do two damage is this. Look at that. <laughs> That's incredible. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and you know get rid of some stuff here. We're just gonna get rid of our old weapons. What does this one do? Well, if that's not like the coolest little beam. Wait, what's it doing over there? Hold on, let's watch this. Oh, hold on. Vortex releases exo tentacles that thrash at nearby enemies. After a few seconds, Vortex slows down, becomes unstable and explodes. All right, cool. What do we need for rerolls on these? You know, I tried to get mythical and I just spent a bunch of money on that that I probably didn't need to because it's, it's it was at Masterful and then it went back to Masterful just now. So I'm like, whatever, we'll leave it at Masterful because it's a cool weapon, but um, we have other weapons to reroll. Uh, this next one is also mythical. So we'll keep doing that. Zealous, keen, mythical. There we go. Oh, that does so much damage. And the wand. Uh, keen is actually the one that you want is it or is it agile crap i think it was agile uh agile there we go because it does speed and critical strike chance because the, the the actual like weapon damage on this is just not worth it all right so we got a bunch of those uh we now have to drop these in and get our egg that oh and while i'm at it we know that there were new potions right so let's get 
One, two, three, four, five. Get those set and ready to go. Were there any new combination potions? No, there were not. All right, that's fine. Uh, final thing. Let's get us a jungle teleportation. The reason we're doing this is because we need more stuff from Miron. So we're gonna try our new weapons. Let's try this one first. Well, I got rage like right off the bat, but I don't know if that's actually necessary. It, I mean, my goodness, this does a lot of damage. Oh, wow, I haven't done this fight in a bit. You can tell. Uh, what's the speed on this? There we go. Figure, crap, this is bad. If we can get this to actually land, uh, it's taking forever to switch weapons on that. Let's try this one out. Oh, let's bait the tornado out. His tornado, not my tornado. My tornado is amazing. Oh, that, and I just walked through his tornado because I'm not paying attention. <laughs> you know what? When, when things have different tornadoes than what I currently have, it's pretty easy to you know, get a little confused, right? Uh, I think, I think we had some slightly better weaponage going on in one of the other ones. This, oh my goodness, this weapon does a lot of damage, doesn't it? Okay, cool. We need to wait for the music to actually kick in with the lyrics. That was the trick. Bring it on, homie. Oh, let's bait that. Here they come. There you go. See, then now you can actually hit them. That's what I learned yesterday. Is I, I always just had to wait for the lyrics. Nope, I'm in a bad spot. Wow, when you actually hit with this weapon, it does quite a bit. I'm gonna get another rage here in a second. Goodness. Yeah, there it is. Okay. But let's do this one with rage. Uh, when's my next heal? 20 seconds. All right, we're, we're not too bad right now. Let's just keep using this one. This one seems to be working just fine. Nope. Let's get that teleport. Oh, crap. I got 10 seconds. I actually might die. <laughs> I mean, it's not like we have new armor, we just have new weapons. So the boss is going down faster, but I gotta make sure that I do not die. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna have to do that again. <laughs> you know what? I can't deny that the wand is like the best weapon <laughs> in the game. It does so much damage. There, I just, I just need to make sure that we, you know, put this down. And then we basically just kind of wait for me to switch weapons. Cause it does take a minute of a very slow attack speed um, and we try to get him into the actual tornado and that seems to work pretty well so that's like my new strategy for this is just get some tornadoes down on the ground and just get him to walk into it because <laughs> it's really really good uh, we're kind of in a bad spot here though yeah keep, keep healing keep doing your thing you know you do you Let's heal up and uh, just leave him in that you see, like, his health bar just disintegrated. It's pretty good. I feel like what I need to do is get rage or adrenaline and get him inside of the tornado and then just pop it. Because that was uh, very strong. Put one of these down. Oh, I almost got him in the right spot there. Ooh, ooh, this is a little precarious. Let's just get the heck out of there. Use some of these. <laughs> it's not great. I think I'm going to have a teleport soon. No, I did it a little too late. What's the timer here? 30 seconds on my heal. My goodness, I'm so bad. I feel like I did a better job when I was doing this without awesome weapons. I, I think I am taking it a little too, uh, too much for granted. Oh my goodness, this is embarrassing. I can't believe I lived with like five health on that. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> kind of embarrassing. All right, we got 25 more fragments. Whew. Here's the thing is you don't get the fragments from from the bags. You actually get it from having to kill the boss. Uh, so that makes it a little bit more rough. But that's fine. We got a bunch of good stuff there. We'll go ahead and shop. Get rid of all of these. And I think we ha already have a pair of these wings. But just in case, I'm not going to sell them. That would be embarrassing. 
Get rid of that. All right, let's go ahead and drop the rest of this stuff. Now for the bars, um, actually we need, we need the gear, right? So we need to upgrade our armor. So, or something bars, there we are. Um, we needed celestial tracers. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pop these off. Put those in there and go celestial tracers. Heck yeah. These are a huge, huge upgrade. I love it. I love it. There we go. Uh, horizontal speed 12, acceleration mod multiplier three. Excellent vertical speed, flight time 280, 50% increased running acceleration. Greater mobility on ice, water, and lava walking. Temporary immunity to lava. Being hit for over 200 damage will make you immune for an extended period of time. Bam. Gotta love it. All right, so we got that. Uh, now we have the gear that we actually have to make. So let's go to Auric. All right, what am I missing for these? Uh, which is the magic one? Actually, let's just look at that. Oh, wow, you need... You need, like, old gear. Oh, which means I need to put my Silva armor in there, too. Do I have a frost barrier? No, obviously I don't. How do I get one? Frost barrier. How did, what the heck is a frost barrier from? Ice claspers, really? All right, fine. Whatever you say, game. <laughs> uh, Auric Tesla Royal Helm, no. Nope. Not that one, not that one. Not that one, it is the wire hemmed visage, visage, right? Yeah. So we need, what do we need for that? All right, we need our Silva armor and a psychotic amulet. <sighs> All right, where do we get that from? These guys, are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, well, you know, I'm starting to learn that this is gonna take quite a bit of time.